To apply color correction and effects, first select the color workspace, then open the Lumetri color panel. The first item is basic correction, which affects all ranges in the image. The white balance will affect the temperature and tint of your image. It establishes a baseline for white. If I use the eyedropper, I can set it to what is supposed to be white in this image, the lines of the court, for a realistic effect. Look at what happens when I select the blue shirt as white. The image warms because it is basing everything on what I picked being white. Other general corrections are exposure and contrast. This is subjective, but you're looking for an overall consistency in your clips, so best not to go overboard with these settings. You can adjust the highlights, shadows, whites, blacks individually, but this is just a subset of contrast. In the creative menu, there are some interesting presets. This will give a film look to your clip. Again, don't go overboard with this and keep a close eye on your vibrance and saturation. I rarely use this menu because this is the most overused effect in video. To turn a portion of an effect on or off, click on the checkbox on the right. The Curves menu can adjust brightness and contrast based on tone. The bottom left is the darkest part of the image, and the top right is the brightest. By bringing the middle, you are creating a natural curve from the point at which the midtone is out to the darkest and lightest parts of the image. You can also adjust this for individual colors, red, green, or blue. HSL Secondary allows you to target and key a single color range in your video and change it. I'm going to select the green of the baseline area and turn it pink. Click on the eyedropper to select and in the color wheel select a new color. If areas are not selected, like this green I see here on the baseline, use the plus eyedropper to add to your selection. If too much is selected, then use the minus eyedropper. A vignette allows you to fade off your image at the edges. To view what each section is doing, you can click and unclick the visibility box. To view what the effect is doing and to see the original, unclick the FX box in the effects control panel. You can apply effects to multiple clips in several ways. You can copy and paste this effect onto new layers by copying it in the effects control panel and pasting it into the new effects control panel for another clip when it's selected. Or you can right click on a clip, select copy. Then right click on another clip and select Paste Attributes. Select which parts that you want to paste. Or apply it to an adjustment layer. Go to the bottom of the project panel and click on the new icon Adjustment Layer. Drag it into the timeline. Paste the effect onto this layer and now it will apply to all the clips in the timeline that it covers.